All right, so I finally got the conversion done. There it is. Got a good look. Numerous gauntlet bottle, bottle adapter, and the little silver piece. That's what I made to make it all fit on this uh, Umarex air jabber. Got my arrow is mounted. That was fairly painless with a M-lock rail. Anyway, I did, took it outside and done some chronograph testing and uh, done it for a shot count. It went from 3,000 psi down to by this by this gauge it says it is. Uh, Probably around 800. You know, that's where it fell off the regulator in the last two shots on the chronograph. Uh, are really low. You know, you could, you could, it, when it fell off, it fell right off. Didn't, it didn't waste any time, like, easing down. It just kind of went off. Anyway, uh, I'm impressed with how many shots it got. I was out there shooting it. The video turned out a lot longer than I wanted it to. I figured, you know, 10 or 15 shots and it'd be over with. I think it was a few more than that. So the video turned out a bit long. So I'm probably going to, when I play the video... I'm probably going to speed that up a little bit so it's not too painful to sit there and watch. But you should be able to see all the chronograph numbers. A couple of errors in it. A couple of duplicates, which, you know, the thing it was shooting really consistent. What I want to point out is uh, that this thing lost about 10 feet per second. Uh, average, I guess. Uh, 10, 10 to 15 feet per second. Anyway, uh, I, I did not mess with the regulator on the gauntlet bottle. It is 1100 PSI regulator. I have a regulator tester. I did test it. It was exactly 1100 PSI, just like uh, it's rated for. And anybody that knows anything about PCPs, when I took this from CO2 pressure of around 800, 850 PSI uh, up to 1100 PSI, knows why this thing lost feet per second. I haven't taken this gun apart to look at it yet, but that should be easily overcome with a little hammer spring work to get the hammer spring pressure up. Or if I can ever get this regulator off of this bottle, I have an 850 PSI CO2 rate, uh, power, it's a CO2 pressure regulator. It's just like a paintball straight uh, PCP to a paintball gun, which they said around 850 PSI. But I cannot for the life of me get this bottle off of this regulator without scratching it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that, see if I can't get that thing off of there. And anyway, uh, enjoy the video of the chronograph and the numbers and shot count. Well, that was it. That looks like you got a uh, uh, 33 good shots. Pretty good uh, consistency. Uh, velocity was pretty good. Um, I think it uh, shot about 301 to 305 feet per second on the CO2 bottle, and it lost about 10 feet per second with the the PCP bottle. But that's because the regulator is at 1100 psi and this is yet the the whole gun is bone stock except for the the adapter and uh uh it does not have enough hammer spring i believe to overcome the the higher uh, air pressure in the regulator so um i am gonna try to get my other regulator on this thing i really don't want to take this bottle apart 
but I think I'm gonna try to get my other regulator on this one instead of uh, monkeying with this this regulator to get the pressure down. And I, I may take the gun apart and have a look at the hammer spring and see what I can do. I, I know there's more power to be made. I want this gun right now for uh, for fishing. So I don't want to really go any higher with the power until I see how it does the way it is. Everybody tells me that I don't need that much power for, for like bow fishing. So uh, I want to really try it out in stock form, you know, see how it does bow fishing. But this thing, it, it, it got 30, 33 really good shots. They're really consistent. The, the extreme spread was, uh, wasn't was bad at all. And I had a couple numbers in there where it said it was like 137 or 139 or something like that. That's just a, a glitch with the chronograph. It didn't shoot any slower. It didn't sound any different. It's just a glitch with a shooting a long arrow across the chronograph, you know. So anyway, uh, I think I can live with it losing 10 feet per second for right now just to just to see how how this thing's fixing to work. Maybe shoot it outside, see how it groups a little bit. Anyway, uh, uh, if you don't have one of the the Umarex air javelins, this is a pretty neat little gun. We're gonna maybe mod this a little bit later and see how uh, see how it does. See if we can get it, you know, 350, 400 feet per second. Maybe I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna up a little bit. I've never seen the inside of this thing to know how much more pressure the the thing will take. The arrows, I'm fairly sure, will take uh, a lot more before they, uh, they, you know, any damage to them. Pretty sure they'll take a lot more air pressure uh, than uh, than what this thing's factory rated at. So anyway, get yourself one of these things. This is bone stock except for the PCP conversion. I've not touched the inside of this gun or even, even looked at it yet. Hope you enjoyed the video.